Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to show you my January wrap up, the books that I read, the books that I'm currently, currently reading and also some movies and TV series that I saw this month. So I have to say that this month was a bit hard in terms of reading and I don't really know why. I didn't manage my time very well because this month I was only able to uh, finish one book. I have eight, I think. Yeah, I have eight books that I'm currently reading. I, this, at the start of the month, I uh, started two joint readings, one of uh, Maria Antoinette and the other of Anna Karnina and they go till Febru February because we're reading it in a slow pace so that took a lot of time, time for me because I have to read every day a bit and for some reason I wasn't able to read other books so I have to see if next month I manage my time better so I can finish more books. So this month I finished The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa. This was the, the, um, the book that I talked about in my last video. As I explained in the video, this is a book by heteronyms of Fernando Pessoa, mainly Bernardo Suarez. Here we can find lost uh, thoughts. It's like entries in a diary or topics. Uh, here I can show you. Do you see here? It's like topics. At least in my book they are uh, organized in this way. I don't know I don't know if uh, in other editions is different but in this book we can find a to uh, subjects like um, the meaning of life subjects about the art of writing uh, topics about his life he's um, a bookkeeper and he talks about his place of work his boss his colleagues and but, but this is very much about life and how he, feel, he feels lonely and how he hasn't any friends and how it's hard to make friends. It's so it's out, outbursts about life, the vicissitudes of life, a lot about the relations between people and I mark some things that I read to you in my last video so if you're interested to see and to hear some of the passages that I, I chose to read to you, please go watch that video. I, I talk with more depth about the book. Uh, the, the only thing that I have to note is that I read this in a Portuguese edition so and I don't have any English edition with me. So the translation was made by me, so it's not the correct one but it's just for you to have an idea of, of what you can find in this book so that was the only book that uh, I finished this this month and I have to say that I start reading it in December just at the beginning of December so I took two months to read this book and I, I read it in a really slow pace I wasn't reading more than 30 pages a day for me it was enough but it's a, a book that I think that I'm going to reread it and maybe read here and there because as the book doesn't have a plot it's easy for you to just open the book and start reading so now the books that I'm currently reading still I am reading Les Miserables by Victor Hugo I have, I'm reading this book, it has been half a year 
and I still haven't finished it. I, I think that I'm close to fish finishing it, but because this book has so, ma so many chapters about se secondary characters or about wars or about kings, so the book doesn't always talk about the main story and the main characters. It digresses very, very, very much and it's quite difficult to um, sometimes maintain the, um, the will to, read, to reading it. I feel a bit discouraged sometimes because the book digresses so much that it becomes a little bit boring, at least for me. I'm taking this reading. I was trying to read every day, but it became difficult. Then uh, the other book that I'm still reading is Peter the Great by Robert K. Messi. This is another book that I'm reading it this a bit longer. I'm reading it since February last year, so it's it will be almost a year that I'm reading this book and I'm not I'm half halfway through. So I, I have a chunk still to read and unfortunately I don't have any at least this month I didn't have any time to read this one so as you can see this is not so easy for me then another book that I'm reading is Caviar é uma Ova by Gregório do Vivier this is a Brazilian humorist and this is another book that I'm reading from him I read Sonnets and Sisyphus. I loved Sonnets, uh, Sisyphus not so much. And this one I'm still in the beginning, as you can see. I'm still very much in the beginning, but I'm liking it. Not so much as Sonnets, at least for now, but I'm enjoying it. Then another book that I'm reading is Marie Antoinette by Stefan Zweig. I am loving this book. This is a biography of Marie Antoinette. I'm loving the writing. This is a joint reading, as I said, that I'm doing. I'm doing the joint reading with Cristiana Assunção, that is a Brazilian booktuber. So for my Portuguese speakers, viewers, um, if you're interested, you can go to his channel, Cristiana Assunção, and check it out. I'm halfway through and I'm loving it. This is a story about her life since she was a, a child and when she would go and went to France to marry Louis XVI. It talks very much about how she was as a child and how she was as a person overall and how it is difficult to her to maintain her attention in subjects more complex and so I don't want to say much about this one because I think I'm going to do a video all about this book so I think I'm gonna stay here for now just know that I'm reading it and I'm really liking it and then in the future I'll do a video about it because I'm um, contemplating reading another uh, Marie Antoinette biography by... I don't have internet so I can't go and see so I leave it here, the name of the author, it's a woman and I think because um, the biography that I'm talking about was the inspiration for that movie of Marie Antoinette by Sofia Coppola and so I'm very interested to read that biography as well and maybe I'll join these two books, this by Stefan Zweig and that by the other author and do one video about it. Then another book that I'm reading in a joint reading is Anna Karnina by Liev Tolstoy. I also started it in one of January and I'm reading this one in English. I'm waiting for my book to arrive because I order in Portuguese 
in between I'm reading it in English it's being a bit difficult because there are some parts that I don't understand very well but overall I'm liking it as well and I'm also thinking of doing a video about Ana Carnina so I'm not going to elongate uh, too much but I'm liking it then another one that I'm reading is Mary Riley by Valerie Martin this is the book for my 12 books for 2022 from January from I'm sorry February uh, and so I'm reading it I'm almost halfway through I have um, this month and the coming month to finish it and then I'll do a video about it then I'm um, still reading The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson this is a fantasy book I'm enjoying it but I don't read this one I think for three months I, I start other, an, um, other books and then I left this one behind and as the same, same thing for Duino Elegies and The Sonnets to Orpheus by Rainer Maria Rilke I'm with these books uh, maybe for five months now and I'm still reading them so it's being a bit difficult now about the movies that I saw this month I saw two movies from Kevin Hart The Night School and Fatherhood The Night School is about a man who didn't finish high school and then he needs adulthood he needs to finish high school so he goes to night school and there he meets his class and his teacher and it's a co comedy movie uh, fatherhood is about um, a man who uh, loses his wife when he she is giving birth and so he becomes a single parent and it's the story all about the help that he has from his family and the difficulties that he come, passes through to uh, raise in fatherhood he talks a bit more about serious subjects but um, it was medium movies you know I wasn't laughing out loud and tearing up or anything so it was a uh, movie that entertained then another one that I saw this was a documentary was the Harry Potter 20th anniversary return to Hogwarts uh, so this was uh, as the title says the return to Hogwarts they went to the um, scenarios of the movie and with the directors of the movies and some actors that participated in the Harry Potter movies uh, and was endearing because they talked about the experience that was to make all the eight movies and some memories that they have some things that happen uh, when they were shooting the movies uh, some difficulties uh, regarding to fame and it was a word harming thing to see um, I still have to read the books I only, I only read the first book and was many years ago I'm planning to rereading the first book and then continuing the series this year and then I'm planning to read the book and watch the movie so I can accompany and re-watch the movies um, all together I have to say that at the time that the movies came out I didn't went and see all the movies I think that I went to the cinema to see till the third movie and then after that for some reason um, I disconnected a little bit from the movies so that was unfortunate but you know this year I'm planning to read the book 
see the movie and do that for the seven books so tell me in the comments if you are if you have read the harry potter um, books and if you didn't are you interested in reading them if yes why not reading together with me if you're interested to do a joint reading for instance I would love to know because I would love to have company in this endeavor we could also plan some days to watch the movies and we could discuss between ourselves the books and the movies what, sh what do you think? let me know then about TV series I some uh, series that I forgot to mention in my last wrap-up, in the December wrap-up I'm gonna link that video in the description I was meant to refer to Warrior that is um, a series that is produced by the daughter of Bruce Lee uh, she's um, involved in this series because supposedly it was an idea of her father the series something that he intended to do when he still was alive but he didn't get around to do it and so she and other producers uh, come together and they produce this series Warrior it is about a Chinese immigrant that goes to America and there he joins a gang a Chinese gang and they live in Chinatown where? I think it's in Los Angeles I think it is I'm not now I'm in doubt but I think it is in Los Angeles and they are in Chinatown and it's all the um, it's all the confrontations between the Chinese people and the mainly Irish because Irish people think that they have uh, more they are more relevant and more important to American society than the Chinese and it's about the um, low paid labor as the Chinese are uh, low paid and they live almost like slaves some businessmen prefer to use Chinese uh, workers than Irish workers and so is the fight between those populations because the Irish think they are being that the businessmen are unjust that they don't want to pay for their labor and so it's all the confrontation between these two people and uh, in the between they are also trying to pass a law to oblige the Chinese people to leave America we, we follow many characters and, the lives, uh, and their lives and we follow mainly one principal character that is the warrior and he's a fighter he knows martial arts and he's in America to find his sister and then we find out what happened to his sister and they uh, become in, uh, um, in different gangs because his sister is also in a gang but is a rival gang from the gang that our main character uh, is living with so it's very interesting the story it talks about uh, many important issues and at the same time it involves martial arts and fighting and is very action-packed so it's very entertaining to watch the characters are well developed I think the episodes are really well organized and well developed and the story is quite interesting so I really recommend it to see to watch it then another series that I tried to, to um, begin was Sex and the City <sighs> well I have to say that I only saw five minutes of it and 
for me it was enough because it's oh, it was so cringy i'm sorry i i quite enjoy the series and i saw the movies the conversations were irrelevant you know it's i can't explain it but the only word that I, that i can remember to describe the series is really cringy i think that um i thought that sarah jessica parker her character that i don't remember the name was really forced it was a natural you know and uh, i the, the the dynamic between the three friends it was really weird and not natural forced to do you know so well that's the only thing that i'm going to say let me know what you thought if you saw it if you liked it or not and let me know so that's it that's my january wrap up i hope you have enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel follow me on instagram i'll be posting there whenever i have a book review to do or anything else and that's it i will see you on the next one bye